Uh, yeah, we'll go with the same strategy, man. I, I, I'm feeling it. I feel like we can maybe do even like a, a can we do a sub start or even maybe like a cannon sub combo or something like that. But in the first round, I'm up against Voltrix. Uh, if I do end up winning my first game, I will be. Ooh, we gotta put this guy in close again. Dang, 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 dang. And if I do end up winning my first round, um, I will be in the second round. If ISAB wins his game, I'll be up against ISAB in the second round. Which, to me, seems a little bit ridiculous. And now, again, I'm not saying that I'm the best player ever or anything like that, but I would say that uh, Boltrix and ISAB are definitely two of the biggest and the bestest Battles 2 YouTubers out there. Like, for sure. Uh, they play a lot of different strategies. They do a lot of cool stuff. They have really good micro. They're just excellent players overall. Uh, so when I found that out, I'm like, oh, all right, that's a little upsetting. You know, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it is what it is, but it it was a little it was a little upsetting to see that. Um, I'm like, okay, even if I do end up winning uh, against Boltrix, uh, winning against Iceab would be very difficult to do. Not impossible. Not impossible. Um, I just know he's a very skilled player and definitely gonna try with his best strategies. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I have not picked out a strategy that I'm like, yes, that is my strategy I'm gonna use, or that's what I'm gonna do for this map or that. I've just kind of like gone with the flow on this stuff. So, uh, here we go. We got this guy going. We're going to get Striker Jones going. I'm losing some lives here for sure. We're going to go for a quick sub to kind of do some cleanup. Nothing too crazy. Just kind of get some cleanup in here. And then I want to get, uh, uh, for around like 12 and 13, I'm going to get a nuclear sub, believe it or not. Got black pop power. Everything but cam detection, basically. So, the only other thing that I could do is just get a random camo detected sub over here and possibly just get like a fourth tier cannon instead. That might actually be a stronger way to play the game for the future. So we'll, we'll see if we can maybe pull that off, too. Uh, we're getting ready for a big yellow rush here. So the one thing that I pride myself on is I like to use really stupid strategies. You know, I, if, I, if it was a random... Um, a random... Uh, towers tournament, I think I'd actually do really good. I think I'd actually probably... I, I'm not going to call it, but I think I could probably go all the way if I had... Uh, 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 triple games, you know? I, I think I could do good. If I lost in the first round, I'd be very upset with myself. Put it that way. But then, switching it up and uh, going all the way to uh, people picking their towers, I have a strong feeling. A strong feeling. People are going to go with very similar strategies all day tomorrow. All day. But again, that's it. I'm done with my complaining for now. Let's just have some fun for the rest of the day today, guys. Um, do know that the news is that the tournament is coming tomorrow. Um, I will definitely let you guys know via the community page how you can watch it. I don't know the official place or link or anything like that where people can watch it just yet. Um, what's likely going to happen is I'll probably end up streaming my games in particular. But I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the tournament. And when I say streaming my games, I'm going to be streaming it, but I am not going to be actually uh, commentating. I'm just going to leave it up. You guys can have some fun. I'll probably turn off my video and just like let it go to town here. All right, so we're able to get a thousand freaking income here on this map. This is redonkulous. This is like the highest income I've ever gotten on this map in particular. This is a tough one to beat, and we got it all covered actually, like pretty well. Uh, and he's going for a weird sniper glue dartling gun strategy, which is just not all that efficient. All right, here we go. So here's my. Oh, here we go. We gotta be a little careful here. He's going for some zebras. We're like kind of defending, but like barely. Uh, and I think my recursive cluster is gonna be my best play here. Uh, so people were asking about certain YouTubers in the tournament. As far as I understand, uh, Aliens Rock is not going to be in the tournament. Tootie will not be in the tournament. Molt will not be in the tournament. Um, most of the other Bloons YouTubers will be in the tournament. I think. I think. All right, as far as rushes go, he's got a kind of bad defense. It's not terrible, but it's not that good. And we do see him going a pretty decent amount of income here, but not full income either. So uh, we're going we're gonna to watch the defense just a little bit, because if he does decide to rush me... I don't have the best defense ever. I could probably pop up some sort of nuclear sub here to try to defend over here, or just another cannon. Um, either way it would probably work. We'll have to be careful. I have to be careful. I'm just gonna go yellows for now. I'm not gonna switch it to whites or pinks yet. Especially when he's got a lot of money saved up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna get my sniper. I'm gonna get the sniper up. I think this is my best play. I'm gonna pop the sniper over here. So we can hit Moabs and stuff without any issues. Strong, strong, strong. And I guess I'm gonna go for my bouncing bolt. So that's probably why he's not going any time. He's going for the supply drop sniper. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll go for our supply drop. We'll actually stop with the rain come for a quick second. We'll get our supply drop up. And then I'll switch back into probably pinks after just one supply drop, I think. Because it's going to be my defense in addition to my uh, 
little bit of extra stuff. Oh yes, so about the tournament, the tournament is 100% for charity. Um, as far as I understand, uh, it's 100% for charity, so uh, that's, oh god. Um, uh, basically, you get to pick your own charity. I have not picked out my charity yet, still to be the TBD if I do end up winning, but I don't plan on going all the way, so I don't really care. Um, uh, again, I really, I, I, if I win my first game, I'll be, I'll be surprised and happy. And, ooh, here we go, boom, I'm gonna switch to pinks, full pinks all day. I'm gonna go full pink, get up to 2k plus, and then see if I can get another couple snipers going in here. Um, as far as rushes go, I mean, I can definitely rush this guy, he doesn't really have a good Moab defense, so let's go two Moabs real quick. I'm gonna get a quick, uh, quick Moab Mauler here, I'm gonna go for this guy up for sure. Here's two Moabs with some pink balloons underneath, he's gonna boost it right away. Raymond! He's got to get that Moab pop power in there. Oh, he's going to counter me, though. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to boost it. With the boost, though, it looks like we're good. Yeah, we're good with the boost. We, bo we go with the boost. All right, we're going to get rid of this just to get rid of it. Um, and then it's already around 18, though. This is fortified Moab territory, guys. So we're going to get two fortified Moabs coming out here. Check this out. We're going to go one and two. And I'm going to get a decent amount of... Camo balloons in here, I think. I don't know. Maybe the camo balloons are a bad choice, but I'm going for it. He stunned the first one. He's still got a lot of balloons. We're going to balloon boost this. There's going to be a lot of balloons. He owns the, the camo balloons. That was a terrible choice for me. Terrible choice. But will this go through? He's boosted, and he does end up defending. Oh, good for him. All right, all right. BFBs are uh, available here. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to go for BFB. I don't want to go Cray Cray or anything like that, but I think a BFB is going to be a good choice for me. Um, He's going to have a little bit of stunning action, but not a crazy amount. But I gotta be careful because I gotta have to make sure I've got my own BFP popping power as well, which I currently do not have. All right, here we go. BFP one. We're gonna get a couple more Moab Mollers real quick. One, two, three. And one, two, three. All right, that's an okay amount of whatever. It's okay. I've got Striker Jones here now to do a lot of extra pop power. We're gonna go for another cannon closer to the bottom, actually. Just in case Poop hits the fans. So here we go. Here's our BFP. Let's see what he does against it. Uh, don't forget, Zoma Gods are uh, available on this next round here, guys. 22. Whoa, look at that glue. Holy crap. He smoked it. He smoked it. All right, can you deal with the Zoma God just as easily? I guess I do not know the answer to that question. I'm going to go for a double dose here. Two Zoma Gods could be problematic, mostly because of the balloons on the inside here. Um, But this is a pretty risky rush to go for. When I first started doing YouTube, I did not post uh, my commentary at all. I should mention. Zero commentary. Um, and then I slowly evolved into doing like one minute of commentary before my video started. And eventually it turned into uh, me trying to script out my commentary on like a rough basis. And eventually it turned into me just saying, I'm going for it. Whatever it takes, I'm going for it. So here we go. He's struggling a little bit here. He's got two snipers to try to stall this guy, but I'm hoping again that these balloons are going to be the biggest problem for him. So we're going to go for a big chunk of rainbows in here. It's not a huge investment. It's going to cost us a couple grand to make this happen. He's got a lot of blues. He's got to pop in here. Raymond, baby. Raymond can't handle it. And the twos, oh my gods, do end up taking him down. All right. Actually, one of my, believe it or not, one of my favorite strategies is Dartling Gun and Farm. It's just good, okay? And then you can decide what you wanted to get in addition. But uh, believe it or not, I actually kind of like Mortars. You can go for a lot of things. Tax shooters, monkey aces, heli pilots, super monkeys, whatever. But I kind of like having these guys. So, for the tournament tomorrow, it's actually kind of interesting. Ninja Kiwi is giving unlocked accounts to every single player in the game, which means everything in the game will be unlocked for the tournament. Every single thing. Yeah, you heard that right. Um, but, here's the interesting part. Ninja Kiwi is quote-unquote nuking. Nuking the accounts the day after. So, uh, within 48 hours of whenever they made it, it's getting nuked. Gone forever. thought it was kind of intriguing, because they decided that they wanted to give uh, everybody a fair chance. Give everybody unlocked towers. I decided to just keep my account, even though I have everything completely unlocked. And here we go. Powerful darts. I'll go yellows. I'm cool with it. I think with just striker, we should be okay. But it's getting down to the nitty-gritty here. For sure. Oh, I'm sending out group yellows. I did not want to do that. All right, we're going to have to boost this. He's boosting as well. Yeah, I probably should have just went for a second dartling gun. But I really wanted to try to get my marketplace up. 
looks like we are still in kind of the off spot here. I don't know if we can handle this, man. I really want my marketplace. I really want it. We're so close. So close. Oh, he's losing lives to the whites. Beautiful. And we got our marketplace up. Nice. So he's got a village down there. That's actually really interesting. All right, since he's losing lives already, we're just not even going to go zebra. We're not even going to go regens. We're just going to go full zebras. Check this out. Full zebras. They're not that expensive. This is not like a bad rush. He's got double dartling guns up in here. We're starting to overwhelm. We're going to go for a, a, a boost here. Uh, I've got a decent amount of money. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for a decent level mortar here. Just in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Couple more zebras. Does nothing. All right. That's it. We're done with that. Let's get... Uh, Let's get this guy flopping in here. Get this bad boy in here. I don't really have a good cam detection, so we're going to go for an all-out cam detection on this. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. He's got Hydra pods. He's got a village there, which is intriguing because an all-out regen rainbow rush usually takes these kind of players down. Um, I don't know if he's going to go for it or not, but uh, it's definitely a possibility for us. I'm at least going to go for my second mark place. He's going for a weird amount of leads here. He's probably planning for me to rush him with Region Rainbows, or Rainbows. Okay, let's try for it. He's just spent most of his money, so I don't know if he's got Rocket Storm money. We're going to go for a decent-sized rush here. Uh, he's got a Party Monk yet, so he's going to defend this first one. And that was a pretty significant amount of money. Look at that, man. Without a battle energy even required. That's like the power of Ben right there. All right, we're going to go for another one. He's going to have to boost this one. It's a decent amount of money, but it's nothing insane. There we go. We forced the boost. He's still going to struggle a little bit in here. Um, he's starting to chase. They're not all regens, though, and he does defend! Darn! I just didn't send out a big enough rush. Now, that is going to be most of his, uh, stuff invested, though. He doesn't have another one. So we're going to go for this, uh, secondary rush here. Going to be pretty beefy. What the heck? That, oh, another Ben ability. I didn't even freaking see it! Alright, I really want to just all out him here, but I'm just out of money, man. I made a mis big mistake. Big mistake, thinking that this guy was not going to be able to defend with this. It's like two energies that you can just non-stop go back and forth with. So I got to be careful with that. I got to be careful with that. I should not I should not fall for that. He's going to go... Oh, this greedy mofo. This greedy mofo. All right. Two Moebs. Let's see what he's got. Another party monkey popping out. And with the party monkey and two Moebs and a super monkey, he absolutely dominates. Look at that! It's ridiculous! But I have to gauge, for my future knowledge, how good this guy can be by himself. So we're going to go for another Moeb. Um, I'm being very rush rushtastic here, guys. I am. I'll admit it. There's just another Moeb. He should be able to dominate this by himself. I need to go Fortifieds. Here we go. Fortifieds. One, two... All right, without a Dark Knight, he's going to struggle here, I think. Another DJ Ben ability. How fast does he get that thing back, dude? A Dark Knight does pop up, though, and I think he's going to be able to defend with that. Oh, wait! DJ Ben ability ran out, and Rob gets taken down! There it is! Absolutely delicious! The first time ever that the DJ Ben ability actually screws somebody over. I didn't know it was possible. Yeah. So my ridiculous rush-tastic action caused one stupid mistake, and one stupid mistake leads to a win. Nice. All right, we did a monkey ass mortar start. Um, this is not as easy to do. Let's say screw the mortar. We've done a lot of mortar action in here. Let's do something a little diff. Um. Your super monkeys. It's just gonna be difficult to pull off. You know what? I changed my mind. We're gonna go boat instead of farms. Uh, yes. Yeah, so the way it, the way I went, I worked out my college stuff is that when I went to a community college, I paid off my community college while I worked. Um, then I had about uh. My grandma left, my great grandma, when she died, left me $5,000 in some sort of count. And that $5,000 turned into like $16,000 when I graduated, or when I graduated high school. So what I did was I used that $16,000 to pay for my books and stuff when I went to community college. And then it paid for almost a full year of college when I went to ISU. So 
Uh, I only had about one year of college that I actually had to pay for myself. And luckily enough for me, my dad was able to uh, basically lend me the money, if that makes any sense. He had the money, and what he did was he paid off all of my student loans, so I had a 0% interest rate from my dad, but I had to pay my dad back. Um, and uh, I'm really lucky in that situation, but it took me a couple years to pay it off, and I paid mine off. Um, not everybody's that lucky, and not everybody goes to community college, not everybody goes to literally the cheapest state school that they can. And I definitely recommend trying to do things like that if you can, just to not spend a lot of money. People don't realize how much money it might seem like, you know, let's say you get a student loan debt of $50,000 or something like that. That is not even a large amount um, of student loan debt. That That's actually low as far as student loan debt is concerned, if you ask me, for a lot of people. Because a lot of people I knew just were like, yeah, I just take out all the money that I want, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end of it, they're like, well, if I imagine that I'm going to be making $75,000 a year after I graduate college, and I only have $75,000 in student loans, I'll just pay it off in a year. And it's like, okay, it doesn't really work out that, buddy, that way, buddy. You first of all have to pay taxes on your stuff. Then you got to worry about the fact that obviously you're not going to be able to put every single dollar you can into your student loans because you still have to pay for life and things. So you're looking at not just paying it off in a year, you're looking at paying it off in a lot longer than that. I think people underestimate how much uh, big debts like that can actually... Uh, uh, take to get paid off. So for whatever reason, I sadly went for a lot of red balloons early on in my game here. So I'm actually a little uh, worried that I'm going to sadly be really bad on my economy here. But what I'm going to try and do is I've got my uh, bomb race here with my rapid fire, so I know that I'm pretty good against almost all balloons now, especially with my Churchill. I will be good long term. He's got banana farms and Ben, though? Dang. I check this out. He's down to 84 lives. He might lose this game in the most stupid way possible. Check this out. Boosting some whites. He's going to boost as well. He's down to 66, 64, 63, 55, 51, 48, 47. We're going to switch to blacks as well. 46. He's going down, man. He's going down. Oh, he's greeting. He's greeting. This could be bad. 42 lives is all we need to go through here. Here's our balloon boost. He's boosting as well, but that's a lot of lives. He's got to defend. Barrel, could the greed get the best of him here? And I think it's going to. He's down to 26, 17, 14. Drain him. 8. 8. 7. Six, five, four. Four lives is all we need to go through. One life. No way. One life. Are you kidding me? And he's defending. All right, we're going to try a purple combo rush. Purple, yellow combo rush. <gasps> and there we go. We get him. We get him with a blue balloon. And he tries to pop the attack shooter down, but it wasn't enough. The greed got the best of this guy. And he was a top 50% Hall of Masters player and a top 10% Hall of Masters player. Dang. So you can tell what he wanted to do, man. He wanted to greed. He wanted to greed too hard. We got Mega Monkey Ace XP.